about what the approach is, what the mood is, and especially you're in this situation which you know you're one of your favourites for advance on. Yeah, look, it's very exciting. Um, you know, these weeks don't come around very often. Um, I, I don't think in anyone's career. So, um, you know, we, we've certainly talked about treating it with the utmost respect, but enjoying the week. And um, I think, you know, playing the game, not the occasion, is the thing for us. You know, the occasion can be or could be all encompassing or, or, you know, a lot of weight to take. But for this team, it's, it's just about the performance and another game in the Six Nations. It's hard because it goes so fast, you know. We were speaking at dinner last night about, you know, how we were on the plane to Portugal and it felt like last week and it's eight weeks or whatever it was and it's gone in a blink of an eye and you know, that's normally a good sign that you're enjoying yourself and um, you know, things are obviously um, very enjoyable when certainly when you're winning it makes life easier but um, we're under no illusion that this week is going to be the the biggest week of them all you know um, we're certainly expecting the very best from from an English performance standard point of view and just in terms of this group as well obviously you've been with many others just maybe give us an insight into this you know can and the chaos mentality and how you've been so incredibly successful during this campaign well, look look Andy has has put us in different scenarios lots and lots of times over the last probably three years and um, you know you go back to all those experiences and, and be it New Zealand be it last year Six Nations um, you know having to navigate through things COVID you know even when the first test in New Zealand you know COVID guys coming in guys coming out um you know, even this Six Nations, we've had, you know, late pullouts in Wales, that kind of thing, and and, you know, that's just part of rugby, and 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 Andy's thought on it is you just you roll with the punches, and then this these things happen, and you've got to get on with it. And I think we've built a squad now, one and uh, an extended squad that, you know, is capable of, no matter what can goes wrong, you know, guys just step in and 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 get the job done. Yeah, look, it's probably the biggest one. Um, certainly the biggest one of this group's campaign, but, um, you know, it's it's great to be able to sit here and say that these games are getting bigger and bigger. You know, that that was that was certainly our plan at the start of this. Um, but as I said, it's, it's easy to get caught up in, you know, what is a very, very big and important weekend. From our point of view, it's it's purely about playing the game and playing our game and um, you know trusting our game is strong. One thing that's clear from the outside up against this group and Brace being favourites, do you, you spoke there about the balance? Do you, do you speak about Grand Slams this week? Is Grand Slam a banned word around the place, or do you do you actually address it? Oh, it's not banned. It's it's uh, and I know where you're coming from, but I suppose. Uh, in other teams, we, we would have tried and tr tried to you know keep it under the rug, but again, uh, you know favorites tag number one in the world tag. Um, these are things you know the best teams that we've looked at. You know you look at the All Blacks. You know they walk into these things and face them, and um, you know that's what we're trying to learn to do. But at the same time, you you've you've got to back that up with performances. You know there's no point in in. Uh, in walking into things and, and, and not performing well. That's at the end of the day, that's the goal is, is to, to put our best foot forward every Saturday or Sunday that we go out. And and it's as I said, no different this weekend. And obviously just a final one for me, it's Johnny's last six nations match. Have you sum up what he's drawn in a green jersey in this competition? I can't sit here and sum it up, you know. Um, you know, it's uh, it's been too big a career, too important a career, too long a career to, to to sit here and sum it up in a few words, you know, it's, um, you know, he's he's changed, changed rugby, changed Irish rugby, um, obviously for the better, um, you know, 
teaches people what are, what it's like to be a professional, um, what it's like to be a, a proper Irish man, and um, you know, a good person um, above all. So um, again, you know, all these things add to the occasion at the weekend, but. You know, they're things we've spoken about and, and everyone's acknowledged and put to one side for, for 80 minutes, you know. There's a lot of emotion in it all. Obviously, with Johnny's last game, playing England, a chance for a grand slam for the first time ever at home. And then for yourselves personally, you know, you went through tough times to, to get to this point. Do you keep those emotions in check or do you embrace the emotions? What do you do personally? Um, yeah, you have to. You have to. Um, you know, there was I think there was kind of Irish teams of old was the the kind of emotionally charged, emotionally driven teams. Um, not that not for a second going to sit here and say that we won't be emotional at the weekend, but um, I think t- to deliver our game, you know, you've heard us talk about being calm and, and being present and being in the moment, and that's what it's going to take. Uh, an incredible performance from from us to deliver our game to be able to to be able to beat England mentioned that these days don't come around too often. Obviously, as we mentioned, there's some tough days. Does it make you appreciate these moments even more? Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, look, I, I've said already, it's uh, these days don't come around very often. And, and you know, you, there's a lot of graft. And, and, you know, previous few games have been unbelievably difficult. And um, there's been lots of stuff this group has gone through to, to navigate our way to this point. And um, you know, it would be a miss of us not to not to try and enjoy the week and and uh, put our best foot forward. Unfortunately, there's players out injured, which is so disappointing for them to come to the last game, Grand Slam on the line, and to not be able to take the field. Is it something you spoke about as a group? Yeah, it's something that we always all we always acknowledge. You know, um, you know, it's an attritional, attritional game, and and. You know, you think of guys like Hendy, who 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 obviously flew to New Zealand and, and missed a lot of it, and you know Ringer gets in, injured in the second test over there and, and and misses the last one, and obviously they they both missed this one. Um, guys like Finley, you know Ty Burn, I'm gonna miss a few people here I know now, but um, they're all part of you know what we're building and have built and and have experienced and. Um, you know, the experiences that we've gone through have been a huge part of it, and and not for a second would would we not you know have them in our heads when when uh, when we take the pitch and 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 afterwards and you know it's it's you know it's a cliche but you know our squad is so important and um, you know it's it's guys like that, that you you want to make proud uh, on the uh, on the weekend. Yeah, Peter. After what. Um France did to England last week. Perhaps people are thinking Ireland should win this game quite comfortably. Out the interest, do you think England are going to be? Yeah, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Uh, you know, I, I've I've been lucky enough to play alongside a big chunk of that English team, and um, you know, know how pro they are. Uh, you know, know how, how uh, pro they are to play for their country. Um, I know what quality of player they are quality of person they are and, and uh, you know how important it will be to, for them to to put on a, a performance for themselves more than anyone um, you know to show themselves the potential that uh, I certainly know they have um, but that's the challenge for us you know um, we are, we're, we're expecting you know certainly the best version of, of those th- those English boys to come to the Viva on Saturday and and to perform and, and to do that, we know we've got to be at our very, very best. So I'm certainly not buying that. And what would it mean to you and the squad to clinch the Grand Slam this weekend at home? Ah, look, uh, um, look it, would, it would mean a huge amount, but you know, me sitting here talking about it isn't going to help me perform on Saturday, you know what I mean? So... Um, the plan for us is is performance, performance, performance. You know, um, go after the game, go after, play to win, and 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 give it our very best shot. And and look, if if that isn't uh, good enough, fair play. Thank you.
Oh, um, I suppose it's it's hard, really. You know, he's he's a guy who, you know, the big thing with him is he wants people to be themselves and and to express themselves, and you know, by doing so, you've guys who aren't afraid to put their hands up, ask questions, make points, and and as a result, guys are clearer and and guys are on the same page, and um, you know, gives a huge amount of confidence. Um, just being around the place, you know, the, the the way he delivers messages in meetings, um, you know, you can tell that he's, uh, you know, just an incredible leader, um, that he's been there before in front of, you know, lots of teams that, you know, be it he been taking the pitch or, or, or just coaching, that he, he just gets it and, and gets the feeling in the room, gets the feeling of guys where they're at and... Um, just gives you an incredible amount of confidence. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's hard to to sit here and, and uh, same with Johnny's question, say exactly what you know the development that he's given me and the squad. Uh, it's it's hard to uh, it's hard to explain a couple of sentences, you know. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.